The cause of the bald is the Gallia wall. It is the fifth column or the enemy of circulation. I am QBS and this is Back to the Barber. think of hair loss the first culprit or enemy you think of is DHT but what if I told you there's a hidden more insidious partner of DHT an accomplice per se and this one you look at and see every day and you have no idea that it is the fifth column and that is the Gallia wall the gallia is the fiber at the top of the scalp that the top of your hair sits at. It's not a tissue, it's not a muscle, it's not a bone, it's kind of like a fiber. Now around this fiber, this wall, there is the occupant and the temporal, and there's several names as you see on the screen that it really is. However, in general, it is this surrounding circle if you were to take your finger, put it in the middle of your forehead, and you just kind of go around your entire head on the sides. And this is usually the, the direct area where severe male pattern balding is, as you see on the screen. This here, around the edges, that is called, that is where the gallia sits at. And right below that line where hair actually grows is a muscle, it is a different um, anatomy than the actual gallia itself. Around that line is what I call the gallia ridge or the gallia wall. That view of the top of my head being totally bald and the sides having hair that is so tight, it is not something that is kind of slowly going from bald to hair. It is a straight cut. And that told me a very a long time ago that there was something that was sketchy about the Gallia wall. It seemed to be the division between having hair and not having hair. And you would think that it is the Gallia, the top of the head that seems to have the problem. But I'm going to explain to you in this video how the top of the head is actually the victim of this Gallia Ridge, that line there, that is the true fifth column. Now, this line from my research, from using myself as a guinea pig and being able to reverse over a decade of severe male pattern balding, that's no what seven plus, this Gallia wall separates the growth hormones that are numerous and shared on the sides. Point one, when you understand hair loss, you will understand that hair seems to have a group think where it shares hormones, growth hormones between the follicles. But when you look at the hairs on the sides, you will find that from an anatomy perspective, they have muscle there, it's not sitting on an actual fiber called the gallia, so the hairs do not um, leave such as the top. Because of that, they have hormones there, they have good circulation there, and they have blood flow there. This gallia wall seems to be the segmentation between the top not having it and the sides do, and I'm gonna explain why. And number two, it acts as a dam, kind of like a beaver dam restricting the cross section of the scalp. See, your scalp looks like it's kind of, the top is one thing and the sides is another thing. But actually, if you look at diagrams from hair transplant surgeons, they have broken down the scalp sections. And in the beginning, I found that this was interesting to see 
the scalp session sections. But now regrowing my hair, I realized that those scalp sections actually grow in a different time frame than the other ones. And it seems to be the hair flows through these cross sections. How can I explain this? Those cross sections seem to be like counties. And underneath that, it looks like that the surface of the scalp where it looks like one thing is actually not. It is divisionary um, underneath the scalp. And what the Galia does is it kind of separates from a blood flow perspective these sections even more so. So it's cutting off the actual arteries that are flowing into these different sections. And when so, you find that you are getting this Hamilton Norwood pattern. The Hamilton Norwood pattern is actually the human growth pattern and it reverses as the uh, blood flow or neutral oxygenic flow is hindered in these different counties of the scalp. Now, number three, one of the worst parts about this barrier wall is it's actually infected with what the immune response was responding to. While the actual galia, the top of the head, and the frontal, the, the crown, the top of the head is infected as well too, it is eradicated by DHT and is eradicated by the immune system. But because the size, the anatomy is different, it is not as eradicated as the top. So what do you think is holding all the DHT? Because if you look at the top, it's pretty flat. I'm talking about severe balding. In your case, if you have hair up there, it is still probably greasier. It's flatter when you really look at the actual scalp itself and it's less flowing through the scalp, thus less hair. And four, it's not only is it infected and it has what's causing the immune response, it is actually inflamed and raised like a wall, totally segregating the top of the galia from the sides. As mentioned before, you can't really see the separation of the hair at the top and the sides when you have hair. But when you totally go bald like I did, you can see that line so clear that it's just, it just makes total sense how that line is actually a wall itself. When you start using the derma roller, derma stamp, um, when you start using these devices and you start actually regrowing hair and you kind of start irritating what's there, the white blood cells get there, the, the war begins again. It's no longer just a, a cold war. It's an act, active war now between DHT, the follicles, immune system, uh, the pathogen, etc. What happens is that area begins to raise. It begins to get inflamed because those pathogens in there are getting attacked. The immune system recognizes them again and you start seeing the, the separation between those two. Uh, way more visually like I see now matter of fact I could touch the top of my scalp I can touch right near the galia and it's flatter and I touch the galia and it's slightly raised and I know why number five the veins and the arteries are actually flowing through that actual galia when you look at this diagram you're seeing the actual arteries of the scalp and notice how it's going up toward the top of the head now if you were to look at the galia as like a wrench or maybe a tourniquet is a better word and you squeeze that tourniquet right what happens to whatever's underneath that tourniquet the vein is compressed which means that the top of the head gets even less neutral oxygen and flow and that's what causes the balding absolutely it's the see these veins and arteries are already going against gravity and they're already going upwards thus is why your crown the top of the head becomes calcified first calcification comes from inactivity also so the crown has less neutral oxygen and flow is furthest away from the heart 
and the arteries and veins are flowing upwards towards it and it's being the galia is constricting like a tourniquet on the sides of the head what does that cause that causes total male pattern balding now because of this tourniquet this wall the tension is magnified now you have more tension in the scalp and it's flatter because DHT has already eradicated the subcutaneous fat, which means the follicles can't eat. And now it's no longer supple. Now it's hardened. Fiber is already not supple enough, but at least it had the subcutaneous fat. At least it had neutral oxygenic flow. But in this case, you are totally destroying that as well too. This is why it's so hard for the scientist. The people who have been studying this for you. This is why it's so hard to reverse male pattern balding. I'm going to tell you why it's so hard. Because the immune response, I, feeds into the actual um, hormonal imbalance, which feeds into the vasodilation circulation problem, then which feeds into the mechanical problem. I'm actually showing you what the mechanical problem is here and the galia has a lot to do with that because they're feeding into each other magnifying each other when you stop one you have to stop the other and if you don't stop one then it actually gets worse so what is the solution for this derma roll or stamp on the galia as much as the top and the missing areas so if you say my hairline is moving up common sense would probably tell you I need to derma roll the front, cause micro injury. The micro injury, little puncture holes, minoxidil can go furthest in there, and the white blood cells will begin fixing the, the problem. Common sense doesn't tell us that the actual galia itself is causing a lot of this problem. Therefore, we need to actually need out. The galia because we need to de-separate it, desegregate it from the top. And if you were to do that, more blood will flow into the areas where there is no blood flow. Thus, why you have your frontal moving backwards. So that's my video for today. Hopefully something here has helped you to halt hair loss and to restore it. If so, hit the like or subscribe. If not, give another video a chance. I'm pretty sure you'll find something interesting. But if I can do it. You all can do it too. Let's get you back to the barber.